The Angiest Man is a creepy painting which was owned by Sean Robinson's grandmother. She stored this painting in her attic for 25 years, claiming that it was haunted by the artist who created it. The artist who created this creepy painting reportedly used his own blood as pigment and committed suicide after its completion. Robinson's grandmother further reported that she heard voices and crying sounds from the attic and had seen a black figure of a man in his house, which she felt that the spirit of the artist. After his grandmother died, Robinson inherited the painting and took it to his home. After immediately, Robinson reported the same things that happened to his grandmother. One day, Robinson's son had fell down from stairs claiming that someone had pushed him. Then Robinson decided to set up a camera overnight to capture the paranormal activity. One of the Robinson's video shows several activities. The hands resist him. Also popularly known as eBay's haunted painting was created by the artist, Bill Stoneham in, 1974, based on a photo taken of him, when he was a child and, with a title taken from the poem, written by his wife. It depicts a young boy, with his creepy life-sized doll, standing next to him, behind them several hands pressed, against a glass door, within a few years of completion. Three men closely associated with this painting are dead. They are the owner of Gallery, who first contracted it and actor John Marley, who purchased it, and the critic, who first reviewed. The couple who purchased this painting begin to report several paranormal activities. They reported that the figures in their painting are moving around at night and sometimes disappeared from the canvas together. Additionally everyone who viewed their painting reported feeling unwell and children's cries upon being in its presence. In 2000, the painting appeared in eBay listing. Even online viewers of painting reporting feeling disturbed after looking at Italian artist Bruno Amadio created the painting The Crying Boy in the series of mass-produced prints. In 1985, several strange stories began to report about the paintings, particularly the crying boy, according their son, a newspaper in England. A firefighter claimed that several copies of the crying boy had strangely survived from several house fires, households which are having the painting, the crying boy, reported having higher rate of fires. After reading this article in newspaper, several people wanted to get rid of that cursed painting. So the tabloid arranged a bonfire to burn up their paintings. Hotel Galvez in Galveston, Texas, is known for the paranormal activity of the portrait of Bernardo de Galvez. Bernardo was a Spanish military leader who fought for the American colonies in a revolutionary war. He died in 1786. Hotel Galvez is named in the honor of him. The painting of the portrait of Galvez in Hotel Witches hangs at the end of the downstairs is said haunted by a spirit of Bernardo. People who approach the painting often feel chilled or uneasy. Several tourists and visitors reported that the eyes of the portrait follows them as they walk by. Another interesting thing is people who try to photograph the painting didn't get the clear photo until they get permission of the spirit of Bernardo verbally. A paranormal investigation team visited Hotel Galvez to investigate this case. When they try to capture the painting, they got a skeletal image and distorted images until they asked permission of spirit of Bernardo.
In the early 90s, commercial photographer James Kidd has taken a photo of stagecraft in Tombstone, Arizona. In the developing a photo, he observed something strange in the photo. A headless figure appeared at the left side of the photo was actually not present there in the time of capturing. After hearing the story from the kid, Laura, an artist inspired to create an oil painting of the photograph. Immediately upon beginning the work, she said that she was struck with unease as to why she has chosen this subject. After its completion, she hung it for display in the local business center. Within three days, she was called back to remove the painting because the people who worked in the office claimed that the painting was moving on its own and upon seeing it, they are feeling uncomfortable. The painting was returned to Laura and taken to their home. Strange incidents began to happen involving the painting. Finally, Laura's friend took some photos of the painting. That friend claims he had laid the photos out on the table in his home and that when he went outside he saw a white hazy figure that seemed to be missing. Its head 